<clears throat> hey, what up once again? And welcome back to another video. I have another uh, thoughts on another trailer, but teaser actually, which it came out a few days ago. It's the thirty-six uh, teaser for the sequel, Halloween Kills, uh, which was supposed to come out this year, but we all know. So it's being released back in on October fifteenth, uh, twenty twenty-one. So it's, the first, it's only the thir only worth 30 seconds, 36 seconds for a teaser. Now, like I said, I I did for I I just did a video on my my, my rant on the 2018 one. I'm not a, on Hall tw Halloween 2018. I am not a fan of the movie. I did have some positives to say, some positive stuff to say about it, but overall, I just wasn't a fan of the movie. It was better. I would say it was better in some than some of the Halloween sequels. I will say that though. But I could say I could say like let's say it's like best of the, of the worst of those. I could say that. I could say it's probably it is like the best of the of the worst of those bad sequels. But um, like I said with the, like I said the, with Halloween, like I said, I did not mind the the look of the mask of the of Michael Myers. I did not mind the look of the mask. Very decent looking. Jamie Lee Curtis, her acting was not the problem. I thought she did a good job acting wise. How they wrote her character, like a basket case, paranoid, paranoid basket case. But like I said, Jamie Lee Curtis did a good job acting wise. Um, like I did like some of the camera work, like how, like I said, I was walking through the neighborhood, and also most of it was like, uh, uh, most of it like was like done in one shot when he was walking through those couple of those houses. Um. It was a ballsy. What was one of the ballsy things? He actually killed a kid. Okay. Um, but <clears throat> it had a, a, a couple of decent gore scenes, <clears throat> like especially the best one was when he stepped on like doctor's face and stepped, smashed his face in. Or that one kept did cop make it like a jack o' lantern. But overall, I just wasn't a fan. Uh, wasn't a fan of the movie. It's just you know, because it is more. It was more of a. A corporation of, of of from past previous Halloween films, you know, from from the first one, the second film, um, even I think a little bit in the fourth film as well, you know, because only a little bit only, especially it's also spot the reference, you know, spot the reference. Oh, remember that from the first movie or the second movie? That's basically it. I mean, there's nothing to show that you did nothing nothing new with Michael Myers. That's the thing. So yeah, I, I you can check my you can check my video if I explain more. So but, um, but was not a fan of Halloween twenty eighteen. But the, this teaser here, getting my thoughts on the teaser. It's, it's only it's only thirty it's only worth thirty it's only thirty six seconds. It shows okay, going quite quick shots. You see Michael Myers walk in. Why is his mask in the middle of the street? I guess it shows that oh. It's coming like the next Halloween. He's putting his mask back on for the next Halloween movie, I guess. But I'm saying, why? Why is it? Why is the mask in the middle of the street? You know, shows his. It shows he's picking with his, with his left hand because remember, uh, Jim Lee Curtis shot two of his fingers, two of his fingers off, so he's picking it like this. Then you get a shot of uh, Michael Myers hitting somebody. You get a nice, decent uh, blood splat. Okay, it shows you're gonna have you're gonna have more gore in this movie. So you got a, 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 a probably a decent looking blood splat, and then Jamie Lee Curtis looking this way, and um, hand of course like what I mentioned about all the callbacks all the to the previous Halloween movies. You get another callback to the original, where you got Nancy Stevens once again coming back as Marion Chambers, the nurse from the first movie when. You know, the first for the first John Carver's Halloween when she was with Donald Pleasance driving to the mental institution when they see all in the rain, right? All the patients are out. Donald Pleasance went to go check it out. Yeah, Marion Chambers, the nurse that she was in the car when Michael Myers jumped on the top of the car. You get the same shot, basically the same shot where Michael Myers smashed his hand against the window and the like in the original does the same thing as one quick shot with an older Marion Chambers. Yeah, once again played once again played by Nancy Stevens, which came back in Halloween two, even Halloween H two O, when she died in that in that film. So they brought her back again. It is the same exact shot as if, uh, from the original John Carpenter's Halloween. Hand smashed against the window right next to her. Um, uh, forget what was the girl's name who played the grand the granddaughter walking in the hospital. 
Icarus is gonna be another thing. Halloween two, where, you, where there is the host, there is the hospital too. You see her walking in like with a bloody shirt. Hospital. Um, Judy, you see a shot of Judy Greer as Jim, uh, Laurie Strode's daughter. Um, you even get Kyle Richards. Yeah, there was Kyle Richards once again coming back as Lindsay, the girl who, the girl that the Laurie Strode was babysitting the, uh, during the, the, the during the night of the original. So you have a quick shot. You have a quick shot of her. So yeah, okay, you bring all these original actors coming back, but still. But yeah, Kyle Richards um, coming back as come back as an older Lindsay. Um, someone loading. So you see a shot of someone loading a gun. Laura Strode in the hospital where other people are watching. And she's yelling, "Michael!" And you get the shot of the mask being bur of Michael Myers's mask being burned because of the ending of the first moot of the previous film where he was trapped in that basement where there was set on fire. So I guess there's a little burned mask there. You got Anthony Michael Hall, you know, from The Breakfast Club and Weird Science, um, cut, playing playing as an older Tommy Doyle, not the same kid who played Tommy Doyle in the the original John Carver's Halloween, although uh, but Paul but uh, Paul Rudd played Tommy Doyle in <clears throat> Halloween Six, you know, you know the <laughs> Tommy Doyle, but yeah, but Anthony Michael Hall is playing Tommy Doyle this time. You see him with the arm with the bay, look like he's Negan. Come on, he's like with a shot like that, look with a holding a bat like that. Come on, he's like, he's like showing like he's Negan. But yeah, he's he has he's he has a bat, and then um, Michael Myers attacking an old man, a woman screaming, a kid with a trick or treat bucket running, and then you have the granddaughter once again screaming. Um, I guess what that part when she screamed, I assume, just guessing because she's screaming. In, in, in horror, I guess someone I guess someone is gonna die right there. I'm just guessing here. I, mean, I assume it's gonna be the mother, Judy Greer, because I, th I know that Jamie Lee Curtis, because they're already setting up with another with an, they're already setting up with another sequel. So I'm guessing that it's gonna be Jamie Lee Curtis coming back once again and the granddaughter too. So I assume that's gonna be Judy Greer, Laurie Strode's daughter, and the girl's mother is gonna die that's what i'm thinking because she's screaming out because if 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 jamie lee curtis if, if i think it would be dumb to kill jamie lee curtis right now for right in the second film when they're when they're planning a third film called halloween ends because i already knew because i already knew this the the the, the previous one since the, since the previous one made so much money i it was already gonna get sequels i already planned a trilogy for this so I think it'll be dumb to kill Jamie Lee Curtis in this sequel when they have a third one coming out. So I think I'm assuming that Judy Greer as the mother or daughter slash mother gonna die. But that's what I'm assuming. So yeah, Halloween Kills, which even whether the tagline during the teaser says next Halloween Kills, even that that was stupid. I mean, next Halloween Kills... You should have said like you should have said something like, um, this next hall this next Halloween is gonna be a killer. Even that sounds better than next Halloween kills, and then also you show the title Halloween kills. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean Halloween kills. Even though it, it's, I know it's the cheese is only thirty six seconds, but uh, I just hope that this this it's, I just wasn't you know I I was not a fan of the previous film. So, I'm why, why should I not be interested in not be interested in this one if I wasn't a fan of the previous film to begin with? But uh, I don't know. I mean, I you know over over the years, you know, because you know I grew up watching the first Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween. When I was a little kid, it scared it scared me. I did. It was one of the few was one of the few horror films that scared me when I was, especially when I was a little kid. The reason why I said the reason why John Carpenter's Halloween scared me when I was a kid because it was basically how the way Michael Myers, how the way he moved, and especially John Carpenter's score. That was another reason, mainly because one of the reasons is because of John Carpenter's score, at certain moments when it happens, but also Michael Myers too, though just how the way he moved and all that. But uh, yeah, but you get more callback. There's gonna be more callbacks, like I said, that the hand crushing the window, like the, with the nurse, like the first film, and in the hospital, like the Halloween two, 
which this is gonna have a hospital. What's this mean? Is it trying to recap and try to do a better improvement of the of Halloween two? Because Halloween two you have a hospital, and now this is gonna be a, a hospital. Or well, I forgot to mention, there's an ambulance, but there's a big there's a big crowd, a riot, you know, doing, you know, there's a big there's a big uh, crowd out there, and we're next to an ambulance. <clears throat> I thought that I, I oh, seeing that scenes. I think one a person in the background in that crowd in that shot, like someone was like smiling or laughing. It was like, well, okay, and this big rider crowd, you know, and just um, someone in the back here, just someone in the back of the guy is like smiling. So, but yeah, <clears throat> was because was was it setting set me like um like setting up like oh, this so they they're they're all gonna go uh, final and this once and for all. I mean. What does it like, remind me of, of Halloween 5? You know, like, this time, they're ready. Like, because, you know, like, cow, all the cops and all the cops and stuff like that. Oh, this time, they're ready. Wait, they weren't ready. Wait, they're trying to be like that as well. Like, all this big crowd, and, like, they're all infuriated, you know, and... So, I don't know. But, yeah. The, I just... This, this teaser... Well, this teaser, this teaser just didn't, uh... Didn't grab me, so... If I wasn't interested, if I was not a fan of the previous films, why should I be interested in seeing this? Well, we have a, especially we have a whole year to wait for this. Hey, time goes by very fast, believe me. I hear there's films that are going to come out for next few years, and so you know what, it's going to be, it's going to be right around the corner. So, believe me, this this, this film's going to be here before you know, even though it's a whole year away, but still. But I was saying, I was saying, I was going back to the same four. I love Michael Myers growing up. He was one of my favorite horror icons. I mean, I like, I like Freddy Krueger. I like Jason Voorhees, just, but and Leatherface. But just you know, because because Michael Myers scared me. Previously, the one that scared me the most when I was a little kid. Although the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre also scared me too. The original Texas, Ch the original Toby Hooper Texas Chainsaw Massacre scared me too. Rightfully so, because that's why you know, because that's considered one of the scariest movies of all time. But still. But Michael Myers, I, I love the most, you know. And just as you seen that, this is what now twelve movies in now. I think the whole and I said before, this does this, this franchise, this new with this new stuff with my Halloween has done nothing for Michael Myers. What more can you do with Michael Myers? It's done nothing with Michael Myers. Nothing new for him. Nothing new has been brought to the table. Nothing. It's just these films are just gonna be a whole bunch of callbacks to the original to all the previous films, like I said. Bunch of call, you know, bringing back original cast members, you know, and and like I said, more Monta callbacks and scenes that are that, re, that are like re, um, re, different, uh, same different, same shit, different uh, movie basically. You don't get the original, same shot here, same shot. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is this this franchise has run its course. That's what I'm saying. This series has run its course. Nothing new has been done. Other than to make money, because the previous film did, and now you get more, two more sequels. This film, and the next one, I call Halloween Ends. So, yeah, but yeah. This this teaser for Halloween Kills. That's my thoughts on it. Not interested, not interested, but even though it's a whole year away, but I'm, I have a suspicion that I will go see it anyway, because <laughs> right now with the with around with theaters closing, you know, I, I would like to go see a theater again. I miss going to I miss going to theaters because you know that's one of my hobbies. It was one of my hobbies. I always loved going to theaters to get entertainment from it. You know, it was my it was one of my things. It's one of my ho favorite hobbies. I love going to theaters, whether <laughs> seeing good or bad movies. You know, I just wanted to get an enjoyment from it. You know, my things away from getting away from every uh, from even out of this house. You know, I just miss going. I just miss going to the theaters. But I'm gonna talk. But this is my thoughts on the teaser for Halloween Kills. If you're interested, you know, go for it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing it, go for it. I'll hold nothing against the nobody. But yeah, uh, that's my thoughts. Thanks for watching. and Stay tuned for the next video. Later.